This Mr. Mint. Miei. Miei. Is he dead? I beg your pardon? Is he dead? <coughs> you see, a painter has so much more talent when he's dead. Indeed, the deader he is, the better he is. Take this Rembrandt fellow. He was good in his day, but now he's dead, he's incomparable. Well, millions. I am Claude Herbier, the journalist for Le Figaro. And you are? We are pupils of the great Jean-Francois Millet. Could you give me a few details on this deplorable affair? This tragedy, this catastrophe, this disaster? <laughs> oh, it makes me smell my mortality. There's a gentleman outside. Is it Monsieur You-Know-Who, hey? <laughs> no, he's from the police. The police? Please, I must have an answer. Let the man in, Charlie, let the man in! Daisy, please. <laughs> The gentleman in question, madame. <laughs> <laughs> you are Inspector Gerard de Fort, the Paris Police. Madame? Yes, Charlie? You sure Chicago? Thanks, Percival. That will be all, Charlie. Oh, and my horses are looking a dingy, little bit dingy. Can you have them polished? <laughs> <laughs> Princess. Gentlemen, thank you, Gaston. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. So you've seen through my disguise? Yes, it is I, Inspector Gaston <laughs> Monet, the Paris Police. Nobody moves. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are all under arrest in the murder of Jean Poissonnier. I told Monsieur Andre. You too, mademoiselle. Now, where is this so-called widow to you? So-called widow? I have been observing the goings on in this house for the past three months. And I can tell you there is something very suspicious going on. For example, in the coffin, two pounds of Limburger cheese and a pile of bricks. Hardly mm. what I would call a body of a great painter. And you, Inspector Lepo. Aha! Oh, yes. uh -huh. Not the real Inspector Lepo. The real Inspector Lepo is in Porto. <laughs> Open the coffin, I said. Open, Open the, the coffin! coffin. Oh, lost the coffin! <laughs>
Baby, you blew.